everybody, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Bella, and Bella is a Cocker Spaniel, and uh, she's about eight months old, and she's come to me for a few grooms already, and I'm just going to give her her full groom today. Um, you can see, um, we're going to be doing a longer cut on her today, but she has come in um, for some really short cuts, and uh, this uh, is very unique coloring under here you can find on my channel, but uh, we probably won't see it to the extent that it is now. But it looks like it's been painted on so hopefully you can get a chance to check that out um if you do like this video and any of my other videos please subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate that and uh, you can always comment and let me know what you think so i'm just going to start grooming here her face doesn't grow in too much but just right around her eyes so i'm just going to trim that up we're going to be keeping her a three quarter inch blade and scissor cut today. So still uh, keeping some length as winter is approaching. So we want to keep her, um, keep her some length. So she's still nice and warm for when that cold weather starts coming in on us. And I'll try my best to get the best video for on her, but as I'm moving and shaking. So she does have a fold of skin in there. So I'm just going to leave that and then when I bath her I'll make sure I clean that out and then we'll see if there's any loose hair in there as well. Alright. I'm just going to trim out her ears here. So I'm going to trim beside her ear canal. doesn't have too much hair in her ears, which is very nice. I'll just get my clippers and pluckers and uh, see if there's anything in there. Right. But she has very, very heavy ears, so I do like to thin them out. Lighten the load, I guess. I do shave the inside of her ears um, to make them a little bit lighter for her. Yeah, just very little. I barely see it there, but a little bit of hair, but not very much at all. And I'm just going to trim her ears a little bit. And I do use my thumb as a guide to make sure I know where the edge of the actual ear is. Because obviously with your sharp scissors, I'd be very careful where you're cutting. And the hair is very thick, so you're using quite a bit of pressure already. So you could easily cut through the skin if you didn't know where it was. And the ears, well, dog's ears get a little bit heavy. It does bother them a little bit just because she can't get as much hair flow in there to uh, dry it out. So it's good to keep those ears nice and short for her. I'm just going to thin them out a little bit on the top. And then I do, like I said, shave them on the bottom. So they are a little bit, have a little bit of mats up here as well. Oh, oh, come on. So by thinning them out, you can still keep the length. But it really lightens the ears. <laughs> Not very fond of her ears getting done. It's okay, Bella. Alright, so we got that much out already. Bella, stay. Oh, 
Okay, so there's that one. Now let's do the other one as well. Quite a bit of mats in this one as well. So like this is all pretty much matted. It's all one big clump. So I'll make sure I put the thinning shears um, through them quite a bit. So that I can get that out. If it was right down to the skin, I would actually just shave it out. But because it's still loose and not down to the skin, I will uh, comb this out. But you don't want to have too many mats because that's just obviously very irritating to the dog when you're combing those out. And obviously, her ears are a little bit irritated. I'm just going to do another one there. She's not very happy with me combing, which is not uncommon. There's a big one right there. And you always got to be careful as well when you're using the thinning shears that you know where the skin is when you're getting underneath the mat, but you're not going too far to catch any of the skin. That's where you're, you kind of got to feel it out first. All right, so that took out that much. She's just at that threshold where I would just about shave them. gonna cut those ones out. There's another the other clump that I got out with the comb. I don't need to worry about getting them perfect. 
these will be coming back after, but there's another mat in there. And that one's just going to get cut out. We are going to be using the three quarter inch blade on her. So some places like that where it might be matted, I may have to use a shorter blade to get in there. All right, so now I'm going to work on the feet. Move her back a little bit. Move this back a bit. She's a little bit taller. Sorry, I just got to fix my holder here. Okay. So she has really thick feet and paw hair here. I am going to try to use the clippers on this. I just got to get my uh, blade. I am going to try with the 40 blade just because her pads are so thick, but we'll see how she does. the majority out but then I'm still gonna finish up with the scissors because the scissors or the clipper blades don't get in between these front toes they get between the main pads but not between the toes themselves I'm going to try to layer the feet up as well because we're keeping the body longer. But she does have really poofy feet, so she's got really thick fur when it comes back in. So just kind of round that out. There we go. Okay. And then I'll just do her nails. There's a dew claw there. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to do the back one. Again, I'll use the clippers to get in between the pads. So she has lots of space between her pads. I don't mind using the clippers. I do prefer on a smaller dog to use the scissors. Because I don't like digging in there. But the dog with the bigger pad space in there, I don't mind. And it doesn't seem to bother them as much. But I do use both methods. All right, no, what are they? Oh. Okay, so we got the majority of that out. 
And then I'm just going to finish up with the scissors again. <clears throat> little squirmy but not too bad it's okay most dogs don't like their feet being touched they get a little sore when there's well she had lots of hair between her pads but also um just that their nails get a little longer as well hold on And she still is a puppy. She's about 10 months old. Just about going to be a year. So she's still going to test me a little bit here. As you can see, she's pretty, for the most part, really relaxed. But of course, still doesn't want to be here. She's quite normal. Mabel, good girl. She's seen a little bit of hair there too. Okay. okay. <laughs> she pushed her pad down there. There. Okay, good girl. Now right, I'm gonna switch to the other side. See, she's getting a little bit more relaxed. And as we continue on, realizing this is what she needs to do. 
And she looks a little tired. <laughs> okay, last powder. Oh, look at her big poopy head. Okay, so last paw. in the clippers on this front one so I will just use the scissors on that one that's why it's good to know both methods because you don't know what your dog will prefer I tend to lean towards the scissors more. Myself, but that's what I've always done. So, using the clippers is still a little bit new to me myself. But they do come in handy at some point. But I do prefer using the scissors. I find it's a little less irritating to the dog. But when they have really, really thick pads like this, um, or they're matted really deep, um, the clippers do come in handy to get underneath those mats. So I do use them from time to time as well. Trim our face here. Give it sticks out a little bit. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Layer it down so it blends in a little bit better. Okay. And I'm going to shave the inside of the ears. Make them short as well. That'll really lighten them up for her. Make sure you're always going upwards and outwards with the clippers, and you'll go downwards with them. Because there are little flaps of skin inside the ear which you don't want to catch. There we go. There's one. And make sure the clipper blades aren't warm. So this one's warm. I'm going to switch it out. I know. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to pull out her tail and trim around her bum area. And then I'll be ready to give her a nice bath. Get you a little closer in there. Okay, so I am going to go inside the back legs, I'm just with the uh, number five, just to keep it nice and clean in there, but I don't want to shave too short just because the rest of the body is going to be longer. You can see her ears are still bottom there and that's what happens when they do get a little heavy so it's really thick in here and uh, a little sensitive top there and the belly I'm going to use a number 10 so we'll be able to see a little bit of her coloring come out kind of looks speckled and paint it in there and I, like I said, I do have another video on my channel um, just showing her very unique coloring. That comes out when we give her a real close shave. So I have done a number 10 on her and uh, she does have beautiful coloring that comes out. That is very unique. So you can check that out. All right, so we're ready for our bath now. And we're going to get that done. Okay, come on. Okay. Camera has a mind of its own. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Now, let's just stick for you. you want to make sure she, you really rinse it out really good. I usually keep rinsing until I don't see any more soap coming out the bottom. So there, if there is soap left in the dog's fur, it gets, it'll make them a little bit itchy, so. You really want to make sure you get that all out. them out or I guess or hand wring them out then I can see if any there's any soap residue in there as well and if there is I'll just give an extra rinse Get it there. I have to move it back a little bit. There we go. Okay. Try to get as much as I can here before the blow dry. your ears. There you go. Okay.
So now I'm going to use the clipper blades on her. So with this length of clipper blade, um, I'm not going to be able to get all of it. So I do usually have to come back and there's a little bit of matting there. And it won't go through, so I'm going to have to use the scissors. And I usually will have to come back with the scissors anyways because the clipper blade won't go in all these little corners and crevices. So it's too tight of a corner for it. Clean it up a little bit too because sometimes that fur gets stuck in there. and then come back with the scissors but she doesn't like the clippers on her legs too much so I'm not gonna do too much okay. so I'll just come back and do that with the scissors more
just a little bit of matting between those armpits. There's a little bit of a mat in there as well. And it's just thicker and tighter for those clippers to get through. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to give her another blow dry here. So I'm going to start with her muffs on. But then I will take them off during the blow dry so that I can dry her ears a little bit better. So I can really make sure I got a nice clean cut on her ears. I'm just going to take off anything I can see right now that doesn't need to be there. And I'm just going to try to comb out a little bit on her ears, but she really, really doesn't like her ears being touched. Hey, <laughs> hey. There's a little bit of a mat there, so I just want to try to get any ones that I missed uh, before I do this next blow dry. Okay. You don't really want to tug on her, so I'm trying to move with her as best I can. You really just don't want to pull just on the ears. All right, I think I got that one out. And this one just has a little one, but it's coming right out. And that'll help them to blow dry a little bit nicer too. Okay, I'll get this all out of the way. I'm just going to take her out of the way for a second. We do spend a little bit more time blow drying when they have thicker fur like this. All right. So like I said, I'm going to start with the muffs on her and then I'm going to take them off so that I can blow dry her ears. And if she doesn't like it, um, I will stop blow drying and then she will just have damp ears. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm actually not a fan of that blow dryer, so I'm just going to leave her head a little bit damp. It's okay. It's okay. It's all done. All done. All done. So we'll just leave this a little bit damp um, just because she really didn't like that. So. Okay, so now I'm going to go with the scissors and just clean up anything. Um, that the clippers couldn't get. And that's usually in this chest area. Like I said, when they have the tight curves um, with the longer clippers blades, it uh, usually has a hard time getting in these little cracks and crevices here. I guess the curves. And the legs, where she doesn't like to be done. So it's quite common to use the scissors um, when you're using a three quarter inch blade as well to kind of blend them all together because it can't uh, get all these little areas. But you have a little bit of give because uh, when you're doing the length a little bit longer like that, the dog's hair usually has some curl in it, so, you know, it never has to be perfect. Of course, you always want to try, but you're never going to get it perfect anyways. We just kind of try to blend it as best you can. That's why I like to do the head and the ears before the uh, bath. Because if they don't like the blow dry, blind, blow dryer, it's really hard to groom that um, when it's really damp and laying down. So, but since we've already done that, I can just kind of clean it up a little bit and it should look really good when it's finished drying. Give me a little bit of angle. Well, there we go. So I'm just going to finish up um, by clean, or putting the ear solution in her ears to dry them out. And then I also brush her teeth. And then we'll be all done. So I hope you enjoyed this groom. Um, and will subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this of me grooming a variety of dogs and different dog breeds, um, dependent on how the owner would like them that time. So it's always a little bit different uh, depending on what the owner is preferring and depending on what uh, season we are in uh, for the weather temperature. So there's a lot of longer cuts going to be coming now. Um, and then of course in the summer there's a lot of shorter cuts as well that I do. So, And then of course everything in between. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And um, hope you continue to watch videos and uh, we'll see you again soon. So thanks for taking the time and I hope you have a great day.